They call him the Flying Finn. World Rally Champion and winner of the Perry Dakar are just two of his many titles. He spoke to us about his career, his decisions, and his life. Yeah, that gets my blood flowing right away. I take this off first? No, I don't know how to take it off. I'm Ari Vatanen, and I come from here. Tupuara, near the Russian border. My love, my life, and my roots are here. It's where I'm happy, in my village Tupuara. Man, I'm always happy in a race car. Harry Vatanen, a name that evokes 30 years of automobile racing. World Rally Champion in 1981, two-time winner of the Atlas Rally, four-time winner of the Paris Dakar. In 1997, he became the world's long-distance rally champion, a more than impressive record. I began driving a tractor when I was six years old and a car when I was 12. When I was 12, the first rallies came through our village. It was mid-June. In mid-June, the sun shines 24 hours a day here. I was there four hours before the first car, sitting on an embankment. I waited there on a sunlit night under the Finnish birch trees. I'm still like that little boy, waiting for the first car. I'm really fascinated by what I see, fascinated by life. Long-distance rallies gave Ari Vatanen a new way of seeing the world. He made them his specialty from 1987 on, joining his love for racing with the art of living, learning from others, sharing their culture, discovering new horizons. belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. That's how you make the world move forward. I'm going to reveal the secrets that make the Finns such good racers. First, you have to be courageous. Second, you put your hands like this, and you hold the wheel very, very tightly. In the turns, be determined. No hesitation. You turn the wheel and counter steer like this. Most important, enjoy yourself. The more the car slides, the more fun it is. Makes me younger.
Sometimes when I cross the finish line of a special, all the mosquitoes are stuck on the side windows because the car was always sliding. The lack of power bothers me a little bit here. That's all. We can't go fast enough. It doesn't take a lot to be a good pilot. A lead foot and a light head. Harry was a child when his father died in a car accident. He and the rest of the family were riding in the car with him on that tragic afternoon in 1960. I was eight when my father died, and uh, I can't explain where I got my love for racing. There was nothing around me that would have sparked it. I don't know. It comes from inside. It's part of my existence. The attraction is undoubtedly linked to his taste for danger. At 200 kilometers an hour on almost impassable trails, Vatanen pushed his cars close to the brink. That's probably the only way to win. Stomp on the gas pedal while calculating your risks. We're never safe in life. Never safe from unexpected accidents. A glitch, a serious problem can happen at any time. I'm not fatalist, not at all. I don't want to be negative. No, it's just the opposite. When you realize how fragile life is, you realize how valuable it is, happiness. <laughs> you simply live from your heart, so the question of risk doesn't play any role in it. We're in my village again, and I'm comfortable here with all my friends around me. It's wonderful. I've always loved what I do and kept moving forward. It has always come straight from the heart. I never had any strategy, never really planned ahead. In life in general and in car racing, I just lived one day at a time. As for Rita, my wife, she is more than 50% of a world champion. She is a world champion in life because without her, I wouldn't be here where I am today. Before I was young and fast. Now, I'm just fast.